let me tell you that the shutdown today was, was necessary. Uh, since we began at midnight, Metro teams have, have identified 26 areas where damaged jumper cables and connector booths exist. We segment, segmented the system into 22 underground inspection zones where 600 jumper cables were, are, are located. This includes all areas of all lines. Each of the 22 zones were inspected by teams that were looking for defects in jumper cables, connecting boots that were damaged or improperly positioned, water in infiltration, and debris that could burn near, near uh, cables. As bad as that looks, these do not indicate the cable that they would catch fire it were, or they were in, imminent for fire, but clearly this is a hazardous condition that we, should not, uh, we cannot accept. Our focus today has been basically to identify and, and mitigate these uh, fire risks immediately. Uh, and again, this is why the system was closed. In terms of next steps, as, as of 5 p.m., again, we've, we've uh, completed 18 of the 26. Before 5, um, at 5 a.m., before 5 a.m. tomorrow, uh, we will finish the immediate repairs for all 26 and any additional ones that we find over the next few hours. If we do not, and so we will open the system tomorrow at 5 a.m. If we are not able to repair any of those as we come upon them, basically what we will do is we'll go into a single tracking mode and or bus bridges between stations. But our intention basically is to finish all of them through the, through the evening. We have the teams in place, in place to do it. And what we found to, uh, to, so far, we are confident we can get there.